Kathy by Design. Welcome to Make and Take Tuesday. This is a little series where I show you something new from my stash and give you ideas for how to use it. Today I am using Photoplay's Beach Vibes. This is the cutest collection. I just recently got it and I, you know me, I love anything beachy. This collection has the greatest color palette there's just something so refreshing about working with it. I played all day with it yesterday, um, and I, I was just doing it for me, and then I decided it turned out so good. I was gonna use it for Make and Take Tuesday. But look at these adorable little beach huts. Oh my gosh, and it's the coral, the cream, and the aqua, and the navy that just makes this collection a delight to work with. So you've got this great sort of sky, sand, water, distress. And I've used a lot of this. I'll show you in a minute what I made. So, you know, but then look at all these cute swimsuits, swim trunks, you know, crabs, the little crabs are all throughout, flip flops. Um, and then on the back side of this, this wonderful dot pattern. And then here we have all the um, seashells. And on the back of that is this wonderful textured sandpaper. And then look at these little crabs. They're so cute. They make me laugh. And they're on the back of a wonderful uh, navy wood grain. And as you can see, I used a lot of this. These are pieces that are left. The sticker sheet, I pretty much decimated just really great stickers in this collection. And then here are some of the images that I have left. Um, I made a mini album, so I'm going to show you that in a minute. Well, it's really a folio, I think. So on the back of this is this great palm tree. So if you love the beach, like I love the beach, look how great this is. Just really good images, sentiments, and then of course there's my stash of scraps which I'll probably come back at some point and we'll make something just using scraps and then there is an ephemera pack that has all these great frames and images and little sayings and I use these extensively so what did I make I made this adorable folio which I'm just kind of nuts over. I did, it, it is five by seven, and I'm gonna show you how to put the base together. That's gonna be our tutorial for today. I don't have time to do a whole, so don't ask for it. <laughs> I was really just making this for my own fun and satisfaction, and then it turned out so cute. I was like, I gotta share this, because I know I have a lot of beach lovers who follow my channel. So it's got this shaker frame that I made with a frame from the collection. And I filled this, I'm gonna hold this up so you can see. There are beads and sequins and there are actual seashells and there's sand, beach sand in there. And then of course this adorable little, the little beach huts paper. These are all items that I've picked up along the North Carolina coast over the years. And I love to beach comb, what can I say? And I've just combined them. I built kind of a little beach collage here. And then the little banners across the top with the itty bitty buttons, super cute. On the spine, I put together a dangle charm, which is just fun. Starfish, flip flop, I've even got a little crab in there, a sand dollar, and then this wonderful circular seashell and star. Um, and then ribbon closure. And let's take a peek at the inside. It is so cute the way it turned out. Here's These are all stickers from the sticker sheet. I made a slash pocket and then I took the four by six and made a great little folio with it. So you can get a couple of, you know, three pictures in here. Look at this. I don't think you saw this paper because I used every bit of it. Isn't that beautiful? Like sea urchins. It's just gorgeous. Um, and then over here, we've got a little... This was a little flap that was left over. I folded it over and made one on my pocket. 
more of those cute beach houses. Look at this great stripe. And then I cut this four by six down so it would fit in the pocket and lined it with scraps of the palm trees and the beach houses. So this is just another little folio that goes in here. Then this flips open and over here I created a kinetic waterfall and look at the great seahorse images. These are more stickers. This is from the ephemera. I just wanted to, this paper is so beautiful. And I have to say, working with it was very calming. I just found it, um, I just found it super calming to work with. So that's my little kinetic waterfall. And then here in this center page, this is kind of a fun little element. So this, oops, let me take the little clip off. This pulls open like this. So we've got this little beach house, the flip-flops, a beach house, beach vibes. Look, it opens all the way out. And then you've got room for small photos here. All right, then we flip this tab. This is a flap page. There's room for a photo here. This lifts up, this pulls down and there's room for a big photo here. So this is just the right size for photos from a vacation or a beach weekend or whatever. Um, there's room actually for quite a few photos in here. So I just wanted to show you the actual folio. Um, it goes this way as well. So these little tip-ins, and then these are pull-out pages. So lots of room for photos here. These frames are open so that you can slip your photo back in behind. And then this is another tip in with another pull out page and another frame where you can slip in a large photo. So that is the project. I'm gonna show you very quickly how to build the base. Okay, so I'm gonna work with craft paper this time just because I think it will show up better than like black and I have an idea to use for this so start with two pieces of eight and a half by eleven cardstock and you can see I've trimmed each of these at seven so I end up with eleven by seven I have two of those and I did this one a little bit different and I kind of like the way it worked usually I join my papers first but let me show you what I did this time I scored at five, and I scored at five and three quarters, and then I folded on that five and three quarter line, and I scored at five again. So this leaves us with this little quarter inch flap. And the reason I like this method is that sometimes when you join the papers and then score, you end up with your score line in an awkward spot that makes it difficult to fold your folio. So this works really slick. So I put quarter inch score tape down here. And with score tape, you always want to burnish. And then pull this off. Sorry, small workspace and you end up with stuff piled on top of stuff. So use that score tape as a guide and line your paper up just to the right of that fold. Now fold on that line. Look how slick that worked. So then I went, this is five, hold on. So I scored it at four and three quarters and then come over and scored again at nine. All right, so this flap folds this way, this folds in, this folds this way, and there's your little folio, this little flap becomes the pocket. So you just put gussets here and here and fold it to seal. This opens out this way. And you've got your double page spread here. And then here is where your waterfall goes. Here's where your uh, center pocket, your center panel goes. 
And of course, these pages have that hidden pocket on either side. And then this is your front cover. And look how neat this is. It just, boom, super easy folio base. It just works so well. And I, I'm thrilled with this one. So to review, two sheets of 11 by 7 cardstock. Score the first sheet at five, five and three quarters, and uh, ten and three quarters. Put your score tape on the little quarter inch flap. Take your second piece of cardstock. Use that score tape as a line to line it up. Put it in the corner. Score it four and three quarters and nine. Does it get any easier than that? And then these just fold in. Pocket. Double page spread with hidden pockets. Waterfall. And then the center panel slash pocket over here. Now, if you go to my channel, if you go to my YouTube channel and you look at tutorials, you'll find tutorials that will show you how to do all the elements that are in here. Um, I've already done those tutorials many, many times. So you can just kind of look through my folio tutorials. You'll find out how to do a slash pocket. You'll find out how to do gussets. You'll find out how to do hidden pockets. You'll even find out how to do a kinetic waterfall. So everything is in there. You just need to use your time to find it and make it. And then you can make your very own adorable beach vibes folio. This is really cute with craft too. Anything beach looks good with craft. All right, guys, I know this was a super short uh, make and take Tuesday, but I've had, well, this is our family birthday month and there is so much going on. So I'm, I want to make sure that I get my tutorials out there to you. I, I so appreciate your loyalty and how you show up. If you give this a like, and if you haven't subscribed, I'd love to have you join the fun. I want to thank um, Miss Cooper's Coop. Um, you have sent a lot of new followers, Muriel, to my uh, YouTube channel, and I really appreciate it. I'm having fun getting to know them. All right, guys, I'm going to go get my craft on. Bye. Mm -hmm.